everyone. Welcome to Jesse Owens Stadium at Ohio State University Division III State Track Preliminaries. But this is the first final, the only final of the day. I'm with Danny Holbrook, and the 4 by 8 is off and running. Danny, look at them go. Uh, it's a beautiful day, Jennifer. And this, you got to remember, this is the, like you said, this is the event for a state championship. No tomorrow. This is it. Most of the athletes are working on qualifying to get to tomorrow. These athletes right here are vying for a state title. 4 by 800 race. First runners are on the straightaway right now. We've got Coldwater. New Bremen. Now they're already moving over in their lanes, but we had Coldwater and New Bremen in lane one. Woodmore, Louisville, Fort Loramie, West Liberty Salem, Pleasant, Worthington Christian, Maplewood, McDonald, Liberty Center, Kaleida, Minster, Patrick Henry, Zane Trace, Fairbanks, Mogador, and Wayne Dale. Top three of the top four times, Danny, coming from our region. Yeah, and you look at this race, Jennifer, and it's like a who's who of track royalty. You've got Minster, who's always here. You've got West Liberty Salem, Mogador. You've got some fantastic track schools. And as they make their way over to lane one, they've gotten past the cones now. It's Minster in the lead. As we get to that 400 mark, that is not the first time we've said Minster in the lead for a 4x800 in the past years. No, the Minster 4x8 program is, is, is top notch. Every year, these girls vibe for those spots on that team. And if you get put on that 4 by 18 at Minster, you are a very good track athlete. So we have Margaret Helmogarn as our listed first runner. Of course, Margaret, she finished third in cross country this year. Minster won the state in cross country. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And take a look, already got, this is kind of unusual in a 4 by 8 with your leader already that much ahead here at state. Yeah, you're, you're not going to see a lot of separation from your top five or six teams. And listen, the goal here, if you don't win it, is to get on the podium. The top eight squads, mm. you are considered first team all state. Oh, we are at Jesse O Stadium. It is a beautiful day. We are so happy to be here after, it's been three years yes, since we've right, been right, here. Right. We are thrilled to be back. And as these girls make their way around, it's still Minster leading. There's Fort Loramie uh, just getting past now into third. And then we've got another contender right now coming up, but Minster looking to choose, not gonna hold it off. We've got a lead, lead change right here at the handoff. Absolutely, a great job there. And Minster's in the second position right now. Don't count them out, though. They do a fantastic job. So we've got the now you take a look now. You've got the top three teams have kind of separated, and you're seeing a lot of separation here. Four by eight. Um, so we got to have four solid 800 runners. Not always easy um, for, for any team to come up with. No, and, and you get to this level, and, and we talked off air a little bit, people in the Lima Land area or in any place in the state of Ohio, and you watch your regular season track meet and you see these teams running in the 11s and the 12s, you get to the state meet and you're looking at 940s, 945s, 10, you know, it's just amazing the times that they, you know, get when you get to Columbus watching them make their way around. A little bit more uh, a spread, even as we get further here with the second runner, just about making it halfway around. All right, Danny's got his binoculars out so that we can get a better look at the, the name on that front runner's it's, jersey. It's, it's McDonald, it's McDonald High School in the lead. McDonald, so McDonald comes in with a 957.42. They are not even close to the top, but they did something to get themselves going. <laughs> Minster is in second. And then we got a clump here yeah. that could make third place really questionable. Well, I'm going to tell you what. They come in with not the fastest time. But, Jennifer, you look at the lead girl from McDonald, and she looks really strong right now, and she is extending that lead. According to our list, that's Brooke Beauchef, a freshman <laughs> from McDonald. So that team's got a sophomore, a freshman, and two juniors. Uh, definitely a team to watch. Minster's got Cameo Cedarleaf, according to our schedule, which could change. Sure, sure, we sure. We got a list. We don't know if they make changes at the last minute. But we got two Cedar Leafs on this. Taylor Roth was supposed to be the anchor here. And they come in with a 939, so they do have yeah. the top time coming in. Oh, we got a lead change right there going in third place. Now, you can't see that because what you're seeing right now, well, maybe you can, uh, thanks to our editors. Oh, we sure. just have one view of what's going on. You have multi-camera views here at home. Uh, that's what I was going to say. The folks at home are probably have a better view than we do. That's We're up right. pretty high. Now, we've got monitors, but still, we've got a lot of athletes on the track. Maplewood still leading. Minster just about to lose that lead. All right, you got binoculars back yep, out I'm gonna here take so you back can out. see yep. who just took that lead the, change. Yep, the sunglasses are coming off and the binoculars are going out. That's McDonald still in the lead. McDonald's Minster, still in the lead. Minster in third right now as the third runner goes for Minster. That should be Cheney Cedarleaf. She is a sophomore. 
Cedar Leaf girls will be running quite a few events, as will Margaret Hemmelgarn and Taylor Roth. Busy weekend for all of the Minster athletes. And I'll get you a better report when they come around the third uh, curve here in, in the track, as I got my binoculars out here and we'll get a better view. I want to remind you again, the local teams that we've got running in this race, we've got Coldwater, New Bremen, Fort Loramie, Kaleida, Minster, and Patrick Henry. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, four by 800 girls teams representing Northwest Ohio and the WOSN viewing area. What an incredible look at track. All right, what are you seeing here? Okay, so I've got McDonald in the first position. I've got a fight for second between Minster and let's see here, Lowellville. Lowellville is in third. Goldville, they're another one that came in with not even close to the top time. Obviously did some uh, restructuring or replanning. Oh, and take a look, Minster has just regained the lead. I, I, and yeah. she looks strong. I told you. Look at her in that second race. And we've, it's, it's funny I say Lowellville because we've got the Lowellville uh, cheering section right beside us and they are just really excited <laughs> about are. their girls right now. <laughs> it's, it's fun to watch the parents and the fans come down here, Jennifer, because everybody's so excited. And, and they're, they're, listen, there's, there's going to be 15,000, 20,000 people here today. This is amazing. Oh, it is so fun to be back to Ohio State and Jesse O Stadium for State Track. There is nothing like it. The environment, the people. We already have, look, look at the, 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 the entire track is already lined with people. <laughs> right. And don't look now, but Minster's really stretching that lead out, Jennifer. They look real strong. Minster's track and field uh, depth is just decades. You know, that orange jersey has been racing <laughs> its way around this oval at the top level for so long. And Cheney Cedarleaf making her way in. Again, I really hope that I got the right names, but we do know it's Margot Hemmelgarn, Camille Cedarleaf, Cheney Cedarleaf, and Taylor Roth. And getting ready now to hand off and Minster just continues uh, Jennifer, to look powerful. Don't look now, but Fort Lormie's taking the third position. Oh. Followed up by Patrick. Look like, let's see. Patrick, Henry, Patrick Henry's in fourth. Oh, but take the cold water. Here comes West Liberty Salem. Oh, that's West, West Liberty okay. Salem. Okay, I almost said cold water. All right, West, <laughs> West Liberty Salem, of course, the same won. Color uniforms, they yeah. won last year. Um, lost some of their depth, but still a very strong school. Had a chance to talk to the West Liberty Salem coach earlier today and just, uh, just some, man, I just love track people. I just love them. I love track people. Listen, right now, this is Minster's race to lose. They've got a nice, sizable lead. Let's see what happens. But I'm looking at Fort Loramie coming up in the second position, and they are really moving down that track. Minster's anchor, Taylor Roth, making her way around the third turn of her first lap. Second place. Third, Who did you say that was I, in second place? We have Fort Lorne in second place right now. I've got... So Claire Rethman is the anchor for Fort Lorne. What an impressive yeah. jump up for Fort Lorne. I'm going to give you an exact number. Okay, so we've got Minster in one, Fort Lorne in two. So Minster's in the lead, but yes. Fort Lorne is moving McDonald's fast. McDonald's in third, West Liberty in fourth, Patrick Henry fifth, and here comes Liberty Center in sixth. And Coldwater coming on the outside. I'm telling you, Jennifer, look at Coldwater coming up. Coldwater's going into the third position right now on that's, the last lap. That's Haley Elig. She's your anchor for Coldwater. We've said her name many times. I talked about her in swimming as well, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. <laughs> and she is a solid athlete. Moved her way into third and now moving away from the rest of the group. Are you kidding me right now? Lima Land is in one, two, and three. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Minster still in the lead. Fort Loramie has lessened that distance. Yeah, you're going to see a run for the finish here as Fort Loramie's trying to make that space up. Taylor Roth for Minster, Claire Rethman for Fort Loramie, Kaylee Alig for Coldwater. That's the anchors we have on our schedule here as they make their final way around this race, the first race of the 2022 Division Three State Track and Field Championship. This is a final. Yeah. These girls are going to the podium after this. Minster and here one. comes Minster. Fort Loramie two. In the third position, we've got the Coldwater Cavaliers. The fourth position is Liberty Center. West Liberty is in fifth. Patrick Henry say, here comes Kaleida on the outside. Oh my goodness. Kaleida oh. coming for a fifth place finish. Remember, the top eight make it on the podium and are continued to be the all Sydney. Oh, she's down. Minster. That's uh, Fort Loramie. Oh, goodness grace. <laughs> Claire Rethman, she is on the ground. Uh, I think they've got, uh, they actually have, 
they've got a, is that a medic over yeah, there Yeah, that's a trainer, yeah, that's yeah. a trainer. She looks like maybe she went into oxygen deprivation, which means your body loses that oxygen when you push yourself around. Uh, she's in good shape, she's setting up right now. So I've got her on the track here and they've got a trainer down there. So uh, she's looking pretty good right now. And what you're seeing is not unusual for no, the no, end not of an 800. All, all. What a race, especially when you have a race like that. She was chasing down Minster, did a tremendous job. What a race, everyone. We still got one more team making their way in. But here's your finishers. Minster number one, Fort Lorby number two, Coldwater number three, Liberty Center in fourth place. Northwest Ohio takes <laughs> the top three slots. And not only that, West Liberty and Kaleida are going to be on the podium. Huh. We've got almost five teams on the podium. All right. What a great start, folks. <laughs> you are watching the Division Three State Track and Field Championships right here on WOSN. We're in for a great day, Danny. Yeah, this is good. It, listen, if that indication of that first race is what we're going to see all day, I can't wait. I just cannot wait. Well, back here on the infield, and we have some state champions already. Four by 800, Minster. We have a couple uh, members of the of the team. Sorry, bug got in my throat. It's it's been that kind of day here at the state track finals. Uh, Margaret Himmelgarn and uh, Cheney Cedarleaf. And Cheney, I want to start with you because you had the you had the third leg of it, and it was kind of a come from behind. Walk me through that. How you were able to to catch up to first place and really uh, set the pace for the final leg. Honestly, I just wanted to do like what we had to do with this team. We worked so hard all year and I just knew like we all wanted it so bad and that's like what we had to do as a team. So yeah. Uh, cross country success also. How much does having that kind of success, you were third in the state in cross country this season, how did that factor into your success here so far in Columbus? Um, well, obviously last year, I mean, cross country season was a great experience and this time I just wanted to see what I could do. Same with cross country, it didn't just see what you can do in the end. It's going to be okay. <laughs> well, state championships, a great start for Minster as you guys try to, the boys rather try to repeat as state champs, but you guys are doing your uh, best as well. Congratulations and best of luck the rest of the time. Thank you. Well, second place in the 4x800 relay finals belongs to Fort Loramie. Miley Chateau, Lauren Moore, Colleen Borchers, and Claire Rethman. I heard them call you Coach Claire before we got started. So, um, okay, so how did you get Coach Claire? I'm just like a senior, and all these, I have so many young kids, like freshmen, freshmen, sophomore, and she didn't even run the 4x8 last year. So it was a lot of like giving these girls confidence and like bringing them close to the team and just letting them know that we can do it. Like, mid through the season I'm like guys we can like go to state and that was our that was the only thing we were hoping for just we can make it to state but then now it's like we second at state and we're like wait <laughs> oh let's go <laughs> there, there's only one team that finished ahead of you guys in the entire state and the fact that you did it with yeah. a pretty young group because you look you look at the list and go uh freshman okay well best of luck to you you guys second place in the state with two freshmen and sophomores what does that mean to uh, not just you as a senior but to fort loramie track overall i think we just have really good coaches ashley harrod is our distance coach and she's with us every day pushing us and making us feel like we can be the best we can and then we also have a small team so our team chemistry is just outstanding like we're all there supporting each other and before we went into the race we were all like we can do this we got this like just give me your best and that's all we just had a really great well, congratulations. Uh, hats off to a wonderful season and good luck the rest of the way.